Today, I will be unboxing my Intel Nook. I will be installing ESXi on, these, on this Nook and actually using it as a home lab machine. Here is the Nook itself. This is about a pleasant sound. And uh, so let's do it. Let's take this all apart. I am opening up the box. I will take these screws off. And then here's my memory. I'll probably put this in first. I've got the MSATA drive, 240 gigs, and I've also got a hybrid SSD drive here. So, let's get cranking. This doesn't take long at all. It just takes a few minutes. We'll take this stuff apart. <coughs> Unbox it all. And this stuff isn't super fragile like it used to be. Kind of don't have to worry about any IRQs or any things like that. Kind of just have to open it all up and drop it into the, the machine, and that's about it. So there's not too much, and it's really easy to do. And this is great. And it's way cheaper than building a Mac Mini or buying a Mac Mini. And there's tons of blogs that show you how to kind of do this online too, but I figured maybe we can make a video. This is the H version of it, D54250WYKH. The difference is that in the H version, version you can install a laptop drive. And I think that's huge for me because what I'm doing is I'm installing a one terabyte hybrid drive and that just gives me a lot more space to work with and it's pretty fast and it's much faster than a uh, you know regular old school type lap, uh, laptop hard drive and most of your data is data at rest anyways it's not uh, typically it's not typically data that you're using all the time so i think it's pretty cool so i just installed the memory now i'm just gonna install the uh, the hard drive. Yeah, that noise could be a little bit annoying sometimes. Just to remove this little screw here. Oops. Okay, that screw might not be very good for that one, so I'll try this one. Let's put my MSATA in. There we go. Drop this in. I do not have a wireless card because I do have a regular switch that I will be connecting this to. Sometimes I wish there was another NIC available, but hey, what can you expect, right? It's a uh, this is actually a consumer product that I'm installing an enterprise product on, an enterprise software on. So this is about it. This is the last thing I'm doing is installing that little hard drive. And uh, where are the screws for that? I will need those screws just so this thing doesn't pop out once in a while. Because it does get annoying if it pops out. I think I just need one though just to, to block it there. Because if I put too many, what happens is that it'll get stuck and I can't put the other screws in. So, I'll take one screw here. And I will put it in this spot here. And 
And now we'll just take a minute. Whoops. Ugh, that's not a good sound. It sounds like it's forced in. Eh. Let's do it again. I'm going to lift this up. Okay, now we're in. Now let's put the rest of this together and that's about it. That's the uh, installation on the nook. Provided that it all fits. That's it. Here we go. And then here's a couple of USB ports. Audio, but nothing. I don't care about the audio very much. I'm gonna install the SXI on it, server OS power. This is for if you have like the Thunderbolt Mac uh, type um, display port, and this is for a mini HDMI, my NIC cable, and two additional USB ports. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install ESXi on a USB stick, and I'll install it there, and then after that, I will. Uh, if I have other stuff I'm going to plug in, I might plug in here, maybe a mouse, a keyboard, or something like that. But that's about it. That's the end of my video.